P320s. Seems like nowadays you either hate them or you love them. I love them. But today I have an add-on to a P320, and I bet you money, if you tried it, you'd love it too. As if John Moses Browning was still alive, he'd love it too. Let's go to the range and shoot it. As I mentioned earlier, the reference of John Moses Browning, we have today the P320 M1811 frame from Brower LLC. Uh, this is a 1911 frame for the P320. This is some serious black magic. Uh, if you've not liked a P320, it's probably because of the weird chunky two by four I look at some like the X carry frames, like you took a summer sausage and squished it, right? That's very oblong, very weirdly shaped in the hand. The Wilson combat frames I feel are like too skinny uh, and too kind of ergonomic. They just don't feel right in the hand. Um, you can always stipple a frame, uh, but you have to buy a stock one, send it to somebody and they kind of do the work for you. That's an option, but the M1811 frame does a couple really amazing things. One, it's position in the hand, puts the gun at a level presentation. There is no up and there is no down because the grip angle is of a 1911, 2011 footprint. Super high tang beaver tail, slight undercut in the grip. This one here is the tungsten carbide or I got tungsten carbide, silicone carbide inlays. They come that way. They make two options. They make a slick frame, they make the carbide frame, and they make their magwells as well. The slick frame, I, they sent me two frames. Uh, they've been great to work with. Josh Schiller has been phenomenal to answer my questions. Um, some of the guys there, or I mean, most of the guys there are former mill that were part of the M18, M17 program. Um, I believe Josh is still active don't quote me on that, but he's been very helpful in regards to answering questions on this frame. So, as I mentioned, the grip angle is one feature. The super high beaver tail is the other. This magwell is wicked fast. You'll see that today in the videos. Um, the silicone, car silicone carbide is my favorite feature of this frame because it gives you the texture where you need the texture to be. The biggest benefit, I think, of this frame, and some people are gonna argue because I've seen comments from other people, number one is not feel cheap at all. Um, I know there's been some commentary because it's not a big name brand, but every other frame out there is injection molded plastic. There is no feel cheap or feel quality, whatever. This is a very well-built frame. Everything dropped right in perfectly, no issues whatsoever. Um, only thing, they, these do not come with a mag release, so you have to add your own mag release from an existing pistol that you have. Not a big deal, it's a 10 second install. But the frame itself, I feel, is the good, or the, a, a very pleasant weight. Some people who are looking for the frame weight to be a crutch to increase accuracy, don't like the fact that it's light. Um, I look at this as a benefit. Um, we got the tardigrade top end on the pistol. Of course, it's got the built-in comp, comp in there, so again, there's some recoil mitigation. But at the end of the day, this is still a widget. If you shoot like shit, you shoot like shit. This ain't gonna fix it, okay? So if you don't have good presentation, good grip, sight picture stance, press the rear, you're not gonna get the result you're looking for. The process has to equal the result, and that's simply Park fundamentals. The fact that the frame is lighter weight, when you guys, we put out a metric shit ton of X5 modified Safari holsters for law enforcement across the country, literally daily. Uh, we ship black, plain black, factory wrapped, whatever. Every single day we put out X5 modified holsters. The X5 Legion with the TX, is it TXG? Tungsten infused? Yeah, I think it's TXG frame. I leave the gun loaded 
without the red dot and the light is 3.1 pounds. So ballpark with dot and the light, let's say three and a quarter, three and a half at the, at the high end. That's three and a half pounds of pistol on your hip day in, day out. That is a lot of weight on the lower back, upper spine. And again, it just kind of puts you on that kind of curvature of your body. The fact that the frame is lighter gives you better texture, better presentation on the pistol on the red dot. There is some benefit to this lighter frame compared to an X5 TXG infused frame. So if you already own an X5, M17, M18, whatever case may be, the Brower's frame is definitely something to consider. It'll allow you to try some different presentation. Uh, I'm gonna probably go on a limb, this might be a little bit uh, of a bold statement, but with this grip angle and your dot presentation, if you have struggled a presentation on other P320 frames, I will bet money that your presentation and your dot pickup changes and increases in speed of pickup with this frame compared to other P320 frames, simply due to the grip angle. The Magwell, you'll notice three fingers right here. Nothing's compressed, nothing's squished in here. It's a very comfortable uh, frame. I don't have a huge hand. I have long fingers, so everything is, fits there. Mag release, zero movement of my hand. I don't have to change the grip or anything for mag release. Slide release is slide as well right there. This is a very well thought out product. Um, and they make them in black and tan. Uh, and again, I mentioned you guys, I have another one. Uh, you'll see this back again in a different slide configuration, simply for uh, an EDC format. Um, I'm gonna stipple probably the, the, the slick frame, show you guys some options there. Um, if you guys like stippling, you don't have to pay the money and upgrade to the silicone carbide. Um, I prefer this and I think it's a worthwhile upgrade. Y the way they've kind of raised, I don't know if you can, I'll get another overhead here if I can see this or not, but you'll see how these are raised up. The panels are kind of like 1911 grip panels laid in there. You could stipple just simply the areas you need stippled. Same thing on the back strap. Same thing on the front strap. You could literally stipple these areas just like they would be on a 1911 frame and give you the texture you need. Maybe it's more aggressive up front, maybe a, a thinner, maybe more detailed on the back, whatever case may be. Uh, but man, super stoked. Uh, thank you the guys at Browns for supporting the channel, sending me multiple frames. I've got two now. Um, and uh, I'll show you the other one as well uh, down the road here when it's all set up and done, waiting for some parts from SIG to finish that pistol. but. I highly recommend if you're already on the 320 train, I know this is gonna be a controversial video. You guys, please don't waste your time typing, does it does it drop safe? Please, just, I just delete those things nowadays, I don't even bother. So don't waste your time with that stuff because it's just gonna get deleted. But if you wanna know more about the frame, ask me, I'll tell you. I think it's a great investment. They're not on the inexpensive side, they're not overly expensive either, but you get what you pay for and there's a lot of positives in this frame compared to other grip modules out there for the P320. So again, Brower's M1811 frame, silicone carbide, Magwell, Canner Black, your choice. Hit them up on their website. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, I post two or three videos every week on gear that we manufacture, gear that we buy, gear that we use. Until next time, be well. Take care.